I hope you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shekha and I wanted to welcome you to my channel and all the different videos I've been doing on here. In this video, I wanted to speak to you guys about a question that Elliot asked me on Facebook and I'm just going to read his question quickly. He says, you know, apologize if this is a personal question. I'm at a point in my life where I'm very conflicted about religion, what I was raised to believe versus what I feel is right. What I personally find to make sense seems to be along the lines of what you speak of, the universe as the ultimate power, incarnation of a spirit living through multiple lives, constantly learning and growing. And I thought it was a really, really interesting question because for the longest time, I was very conflicted about religion as well. I was confused about it because all of the, the teachings out there, all of the books out there, all of the you know religious books, all the religious teachings did not make any sense to me. They, they didn't jive with who I was on the inside. They didn't jive with what I was seeing on the outside. They didn't jive with all the miracles and all the information that was coming at me through my intuition, my gut, my senses, and my, my intelligence, right? So it felt convoluted to me. The teachings, perhaps, perhaps religion, I think, when it was first created by the ultimate creators, whoever they were, perhaps at that point it was pure and it had a lot of wisdom in it and a lot of learnings and gains to be had. But I feel like as time goes on, as, as the world has evolved and people has evol have evolved and humanity has evolved, um, the religion has evolved as well and has been convoluted, has been degraded, dissected, analyzed and made impure in a way, right? It's not really the way it was in the past. And I feel that's the reason why a lot of people right now, when they look at true the religions right now, the four or five or six that you look at, the main ones, that I, that's the reason I feel like there's a little bit of a disconnect there. That's the reason I feel like people feel that doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't feel right because perhaps we have evolved in a different manner and the religions have not, or perhaps the religions have evolved, but in a different way, right? And the more awakening that happens in the world right now, the more people become uh, spiritually awakened and realize that there are important questions to ask out there these religions that are based on the antiquated notions of the past are not really um, keeping up with us. They're not really answering the questions that we want answered. Now, I'm not saying obviously that I am the ultimate authority on this, obviously. These thoughts that I have, these impressions that I have are just my own. And they're the ones that make me feel comfortable in the world and make me feel like I have some place in the world and I feel less alone in the world because of the, the thoughts and processes that I've created for myself. And I think that's what religion for me is basically. You know, it's not that you use religion in order to tell people this is how it is and this is how it is and this is not how it is and this is how you were supposed to follow things. It's not like, you know, pointing, finger pointing at other people if they're doing things wrong or, you know, bringing people in if they do things right. That's not what religion to me is all about or these belief systems are all about. It's just about what works for you. You know, how does, what kind of belief system works for you and what do you think is going to work with the different things that are you, that you're doing in your life? For me, creativity, my creativity is, is my religion. It's, it's a religion to me. It's very important to me. I get up every morning. I pay homage to it, homage. You know, I get up and I do my creative work and I feel good about it. And if I don't do it one single day, I feel like I've, I've betrayed myself. You know, I'm a traitor and I'm doing the wrong thing. And if I do it right and I, I feel good about it. So it's kind of religion to me. Consistency is, again, again, another one of my religions. I'm very consistent with the things I do. And if I'm consistent, I feel good about it. It's a religion of mine. I follow it every day. It's my God. And if I don't, if I'm not consistent, if I'm not persistent, then I feel terrible about it. So, so there's lots of different religions you can follow. You know, some people might have Bono as a religion or U2 or, you know, a, a band, whatever that band might be. Or they might have music as their religion. They might have books as their religion. So whatever works for you, I think, is what works in general. The only thing that I wanted to add to it is the the fact about I, my belief system as the universe. I always use the word universe in all of the videos that I do. I don't like using the word God because God has a negative connotation in my head. I don't like using the word religion as well. Again, it has a negative connotation in my head. It has this kind of 
separatist movement towards it. You know, you're like, I'm a, I'm a Hindu, so I'm this, and you're separate from me because you're a Muslim, and this person's separate from you because they're Christian. You know, I don't like that because it doesn't make any sense. We're all human beings, right? And so perhaps humanity is the religion that we follow, but that's not right either because it's not just human beings that are on this planet that have a soul or have religion. It's all, all the other species as well, the ants, the insects, the beetles, the, the roaches, uh, the birds, the the fishes, and all of them are included in this religion. So it's not just humanity, but every living thing. And again, it's not just living things, but also non-living things. If you call it non-living, everything has a life. Even rocks, you know, even crystals have life to them, have energy to them. So they're living as well. You know, the planets, dead rocks, um, are not really dead. Uh, the atmosphere has has an energy to it. Um, the earth has an energy to it, all the planets, all the suns, the galaxies, the universe, everything has a sort of energy to it. So it's not just humanity that has this religion, if you want to call it. And it's not just us. It's everything that has this inculcation of religion. The thing that I have been kind of really moving towards or I've been really attracted to as a, as a form of idea or belief system is the fact that we're all just one creature if you want to think about it that way we're just all the universe we're all just reincarnations of it or we're all just one being kind of playing different roles or we're all just one ancient being whoever whatever that is and it's just taken all these different forms in order to have all of these different lessons right and so there's so many different kinds of people and beings out there right some beings we're aware of, some be beings we don't even know. I mean, there are probably planets out there with, with life on them, I'm sure. I, I have no idea. I'm not a physicist or I'm not an astrologer. I don't know anything about that, but I believe there must be. And so there's lots of beings we're aware of, lots of beings we're not aware of. There's uh, billions of beings on this earth right now. Um, and there were billions in the past. And all of these beings, if we think of them as separate, then obviously they are separate. But in my belief system, I believe that they're all the same. We're all the same. We're all just reincarnations or forms of the same ancient universal being. You can call it collective consciousness. You can call it universe. You can call it whatever you want. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? I mean, the words are just meaningless. So this being... This being needs consciousness and we provide that consciousness for them as as a human being as as any species the consciousness is what they need the universe or the universal being is out there and it's ancient and it has a lot of powers but what it doesn't have is consciousness and this is just again my thought processes so i'm just explaining to you as i imagine it of course this is all this all could be fiction and we could all be living in a hor holographic universe and we could all be controlled by alien beings. So who knows what's the truth, right? So whatever works for you, works for you, right? But in my imagination, this universal being needs consciousness, but does not have it. And so we provide it with this consciousness that it needs. It, it needs consciousness in order to be aware of the world. It has created this beautiful universe, but it has no consciousness to be aware of this universe. And so we as beings provided with the consciousness and we're around and we notice the world and we, we use the world in order to learn lessons and these lessons are transferred over to that collective consciousness to that ancient being and it grows a little bit more and then you know more lessons happen more growth happens more beings are created more forms are created more consciousness is created and more lessons are learned right and so it's all just about learning lessons and growing and becoming more of that whatever that you want to become right now what where is all of this going i have no idea right but the the thing is that we don't actually really need to know because it's not our responsibility to take care of all that stuff i i feel like as as human beings we have this thing where we're like we need to know everything and we need to know where the end result is and we need to know where everything is going we need to have control over everything and for me with this kind of belief system i'm like i have not, nothing to worry about all i need to do is be conscious awakened spiritual awakened notice all the lessons that are coming at me inculcate those lessons you know assimilate them within myself learn from those lessons grow as a person as a human being as a being as a consciousness 
And then that being, that ancient being, the universe is taking care of everything else. We have nothing to worry about. All of the other stuff, all the learnings, all the gains, all the movement, all the reincarnations, all of the other stuff is being taken care of by that ancient being. Now, of course, you can use the word God for that being. It doesn't really matter. I don't use that word. I don't like that word. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I think all religions kind of teach the same kind of stuff as well in their basic essence. So, I mean, they, they are convoluted and they're polluted now with all of the different humans that have kind of inserted their teachings into it. But I think if you go back to the basics, if you go back to all the early, early, early religions, they all taught the same thing. You know, that we're all consciousness and we're all just learning here. We're all just here to grow and do our level best, be good people, you know, learn from all of our experiences. And then, you know, we die off and we we kind of have this repository of learning and growth within ourselves, within our consciousness. We transfer it over to the big depository, the big repository, the collective consciousness. And it keeps on growing. This knowledge and knowledge base keeps on growing. What happens at the end? I don't know. Maybe perhaps we get to a point where we've learned enough and then the consciousness splits or the universal being goes back to the past, goes back to being a child again. And then we re-begin the process. Who knows? Maybe that's the way it goes. Or perhaps we get to a point where we've learned enough and we kind of evolve into that ancient being and all of this disappears because we've done our work. And then, you know, we restart again. Who knows? I really feel like it's a, it's a, it's a cycle. It's a loop. So, you know, keep on going through the whole process over and over again because why would you ever want it to end? And there's always more to learn. And there's, you'll never be done with it, really. But again, as I said, these are just my thoughts and processes on it. I have a lot of other thoughts on it, on the subject matter. But of course, this video is already very long. I'm just going to leave you with this one last thing is that, you know, do not worry about what all of this is about. You know, I feel like, and I know I did that a lot when I was a, when I was younger. I was worried about, you know, where is this all going? Why am I here? What am I here to do? I hope that I'm doing the right thing. And I feel like, it's not something that we need to worry about because as long as you're alive, as long as you're conscious, as long as you're awake and as long as you're gaining lessons, as long as you're learning, as long as you're in this universe, you know, interacting with it, as long as you're conscious, it's fine. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's all you're supposed to do. As long as you're here and you're letting this universal being or whatever you want to call it, learn and gain from you, that's all really that you're supposed to be doing. Everything else is taken care of. So the lessons are, are that, that you're supposed to be learning are coming your way. The things you're supposed to be doing are coming your way. All you need to do is keep on be a, awake to all the different things that are happening. So a lot of people actually go through it unconsciously. And that's the thing that we need to really be careful of is that we need to become conscious of all of the different things that are happening. We need to, we need to be more aware of it, more awakened to it instead of just being zombie-like and going through the motions, you know. If you get a lesson, you need to assimilate it properly. So, you know, that's what is most important to me in this world. Of course, my opinions will change as time goes on. I'll learn more and I'll gain more insights. And so I'll share that with you guys as time goes on. But I hope that for Elliot who asked this question, I hope this is kind of an answer. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, obviously, please ask me anything. I'm always open to explaining more or you know kind of going through it a little bit in more detail it's so clear in my head but i feel like when i talk about it it's very hard to explain it so if something didn't make sense let me know and thank you again for listening thank you for watching and i shall see you guys in the next video bye for now